Hey YouTube, this is my winter airsoft loadout. Kind of a work in progress still, but today is the first real good day of snow. I wanted to put it on and try it out. So the color you want to avoid, especially in the winter snow, is of course black. It is high in contrast. It is, uh, you know, the least common in nature, or whatever that phrase is, uh, with just camouflage in general, especially with white camouflage. Um, I went with a gray chest rig because I didn't think tan and white looked good, but I might swap to tan. I just like this one. It's pretty cheap. It is the cheapest one I could find on Amazon, but tan would probably be better, especially because the fields that I go to has a lot of haystacks, so tan would blend in more. So yeah, this kit is still a work in progress. The main things I want to focus on is getting a better underlayer system. I'm just wearing a sweatshirt when I should be wearing, you know, proper layering and jackets and all that. Finding out a way to cover my mask in white because... Well, I'm going to keep the dye mask, one, because I run a GoPro, and it has the best for anti-fog. Um, I think when it comes to winter games, I might just have to forego my glasses. My glasses fog up so incredibly bad, and uh, fog wipes do not seem to do the job. So to do a quick test of how I look in the snow, I'm going to walk around my backyard. I'm going to put my gun and my mask away, and just walk with my dog, see how I look. Now because the snow here is considerably light, you may notice that the top half of the screen is generally more green than it is white. This is a situation where if I was actually trying to blend in super well, I would only wear the white pants and I'd probably wear some kind of green camo on top. This is something I see other people do and it makes total sense because this is a snowy forest, but because the field I go to is not a forest, I'm just testing out the entire outfit. Now, because this is my first kit, I'm not going to pretend that I know too, too much about camo, but as you can see in this shot, there's more of a hill behind me, so I think wearing the top makes just a little bit more sense. My waistline won't be blending in with the tree line in the background, if that makes sense. And yeah, the snow camo, it's okay. It's a little bit more gray than the actual snow, but I mean, it's better than nothing. Really, I just wanted an excuse because snow camo is my favorite looking.